Hi everyone, here are my top tips to help you and your reactive dog get off to the right start this year. Firstly, time management. This is really matters. Scheduling your behaviour and training plans. This doesn't have to take up a long amount of time. Nobody would expect you to do half an hour to a, an hour on a daily basis. This isn't realistic and feasible. It will not be enjoyable for you and your dog. Instead, schedule it around other things. Like, for example, if you're taking a coffee break during the day, the amount of time it takes for your kettle to boil is a really good length of time to practice many skills that are really helpful to you and your dog in the real world around reactivity triggers. You do not need to spend more than 10 to 15 minutes of training or behaviour modification on a daily basis. Something I see all of the time, simply sticking your dog in front of something they react badly to for long periods of time is not going to change the way they feel about that trigger. Please bear this in mind. It's something I see regularly in Cotgrave, people with the best of intentions trying to help their reactive dog and they're standing there while their dog is going berserk and saying no to them while their dog cannot hear them because they're in a reactive state. This is a huge mistake. Think of this in terms of if you're afraid of spiders, repeatedly having a spider stuck in front of you for long periods of time isn't going to make you feel any better about them. This is not a strategy to change the way that your dog feels about reactivity triggers and if you think they are likely to react to something badly, you want to be your dog's emotional support system, recognise they might be about to get into a challenging situation and take them away from it. And this gives them information about what they need to do when they're about to reach crisis point and that is turn to you because you will respond by removing them from that stressful situation. Lastly, don't underestimate the importance of your own frame of mind when you're thinking about behaviour training. If you are very anxious and worried about a situation but you're trying to persevere and push through to do that piece of training with your dog, your dog will pick up on how you feel. And this will become an indicator, a big red flag, that something bad is going to happen. So in the long run, this will increase your dog's worry about this type of situation. Avoidance is a perfectly acceptable tactic when you are not in the right frame of mind to do it. And it also when your dog simply isn't going to be able to cope with something because they've had a bad experience recently and simply need a break from that kind of situation.